Hey there YouTube, this is SGM 4 through 6 and this is a, uh, I guess it's assembly, a, a quick project video. And um, these, this little speaker set with these two little key little speakers, the circuit board and cables and the battery uh, contacts and whatnot was sent in by IC Station. And I just did a, a video quickly unboxing this along with the other stuff that they sent me. And um, I thought this would be cool to do an assembly video for. So I don't have a case for this yet, but um, this will likely go inside of a uh, future project. But I just want to get the circuit board soldered up and uh, wired. So we'll see exactly, uh, you know, I'll take you to the uh, product page right now. Okay, so here's the uh, listing page, and I'll have this link down below in the description. Basically a DIY power amplifier board kit. And um, it's a dual 3 watt, it's a class D amplifier, I believe. And um, here's the actual you know, board and whatnot. And there's very few components and these speakers, um, everything is included, the wiring, the uh, whether you wanna run it off a battery or a USB lead. So let's just go down here and see exactly what is what. So 4.5 to five volts. Uh, so yeah, we can run this off USB quite easily. So that, that'll be really good for Raspberry Pi projects. And it uses a PAM8403, uh, which, yep, I guess correctly is a Class D amp. Forgot to mention, it's six bucks uh, currently on sale. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cheap for everything included if you just want to shove this in a uh, enclosure. Um, this is good for like arcade uh, builds because these little speakers are actually pretty loud for uh, how small they are. So anyway, Let's go to the bench and uh, build this guy up. Okay, yeah, so um, as noted, all the parts of the kit are here. It's just a matter of assembly. So let's actually look at a little board here and try not to lose any of these parts. <laughs> I'm probably going to have this uh, just powered off of USB so I can use um, one of these little tiny uh, USB battery banks that they sell uh, just to power it. Or I could just power it off my uh, computer. My uh, tip should be nice and hot. And we have all the parts here. So I'm going to do the main board first, and then I'll do the speakers and whatnot. So the hardest thing that's going to be to solder on here is this little tiny amplifier chip. So let's just get that right out of the way so we don't have to worry about it. Grab a tiny little bit of solder. And let's uh, first off tin my iron. Which is pretty crusty. And we're just gonna get one of the pins. And we're gonna heat up the pin as we put the chip down. And this is gonna help us uh, tack the chip down and alignment as well. Okay, so at this point, we're just going to check alignment, make sure that the pins are all aligned and good to go. I'm actually going to use smaller solder. Should prevent bridging. Just going to do the opposite corner. Reheat it up as we press down on the chip. There we go. Now we're just going to go through and solder the rest of the pins. Now I got a little bit of a bridge on here, so we're going to try to pull that out. So this guy's being a little bit stubborn. So what we are going to do is take a little bit of wire. And so I'm just, I just uh, stripped back one of the wires. I'm going to actually use this as desoldering braid and kill two birds with one stone and also tin it. So I'm oh, going to try to get in there. I'm going to be careful not to take too much time. There we go. I've actually used up 
all of my desoldering braids. So unfortunately, this is uh, pretty much what I have to use. So we can see that the chip is soldered. It's not pretty, but it'll work. If you are a little worried about this, you can um, probably should have added flux to begin with. Um, before tacking it down, but you can add a little bit of flux and reflow all the joints. And there we go. Just got to clean this off with some isopropyl alcohol, but the chip is soldered. You can see no shorts anymore. good to go so it's fully soldered so let me just shut off my iron and set this up so that we can actually listen to something be back in a sec okay so here we are the amp is all soldered together all wired together and um yeah just about ready to uh, test this guy here i have these speakers obviously soldered to way longer wires than they need to be and the caveat is because they're in free air, there's no um, no sealed container or anything, any uh, enclosure behind it. These are going to sound a lot um, better if you put them into some sort of um, either plastic or wood enclosure. Probably wood would do really well, pun unintended. Pun intended. Anyway, um, yeah, so we're just going to turn up the volume here. Uh, plug it into this USB battery bank and this SJM4306. There we go. So yeah, you can hear, they're plenty loud enough. I'm um, pleasantly impressed. I know these are three watt speakers, um, but yeah, they pack quite a bit of a punch. And uh, if you put them into an enclosure, uh, as you heard when I put my hand around the back, it actually seemed to get louder. I'm not, hopefully that comes across in the video. But yeah, that worked really well. And it's nice having this little volume control so I could easily build this into a little tiny enclosure. Um, probably will do that actually. Um, make little tiny wooden speakers for these <laughs> and it'll be convenient because uh there are already holes here so i can just uh, pre-drill holes and make some tiny little desktop cube speakers um yeah so all in all that was pretty painless quick and you know it, it makes a tiny little board that you can easily integrate into a project and nice nice big beefy speakers even though they're physically tiny and they sound great so yeah i'd like to uh, once again thank ic station for sending uh, these guys to me uh, in order to review and i will definitely either make desktop speakers for these like i said or um i'll probably actually use these i might replace um my arcade cabinet that i built i have just kind of crappy speakers i pulled from like a desktop computer speaker uh, system so i might actually replace these speakers which they're loud, but they don't actually sound that great. Might replace them with these guys. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.